Hey guys, Nicholas here. I'm going to be doing a big tutorial of pudding. This pudding, I haven't tried. Actually, maybe I have once. I tried one of the these. It was Rupert Float Sonic. I'm going to do a banana shake Sonic and see if it tastes good, which I probably bet it will. Um, now, these tutorials for pudding is actually really easy because they only require like couple steps, you just need to put this in the bowl, then put like three or two cups of milk and then stir it and then you pour it into whatever kind of different bowls you want and keep it in the refrigerator for at least a couple hours or something like that. So yeah, it's actually really easy. Add two cups of cold milk, okay. Let me pour this into there first. This is my first time doing a tutorial, so yeah, I'm very happy about it that I convinced myself to. So yeah, catch that for more videos, probably. I might get scissors. It's always good to shake it out a little to get the beets to, to stir it, so that way when it actually tastes good thing. Mmm, that smells good. Being careful with these extra sharp knife, or not knife, extra sharp um, KitchenAid scissors. Okay, you poured the contents into this bowl. Now I just need to add two cups of milk, which I probably will add a little more if I need it. And then I stir it. the milk, cut. here's the cup I'm going to use. So I always try to add over the bowl, so that's what I'm going to do right now, just in case it spills. That's what a lot of people do, probably. That's what my mom does. She makes pudding. There we go. All right, now I put this back into the, um, I keep, actually I'll keep it here just in case I might need a little more, which I probably will need a little more. Just depends. Let's see if I can find one of those whisks. There's one. This is actually the same one I used last time. The first time I made pudding by myself was last time. And, um, Yeah, I think I'm going to add one more cup of milk in here. And then I'm going to stir the rest of it in there. Oh! Hi, Lexi. Hi. Alright, so that should be enough milk for the batter and of, the, of the pudding. I'm going to continue whisking until all the stuff from the pudding mix is stirred. And then I'm going to show you how to properly put it into the bowls. I'm doing a YouTube video. Okay, so now that's finished. So, um, what I do is I still use this cup right here, and I take it and pour some into a bowl. Do it again if it doesn't fill up the bowl too much. I'm going to do one more. Okay. Now I have two more bowls I can fill. One more bowl. Literally whenever I make pudding, it's normally three bowls because that's literally like the amount we have for. Okay, 
So I'm going to put these into the refrigerator and then they should be able to be ready. I'm going to make a second video to show you what it looks like because not a lot of people know how to make pudding and how it reacts. So I will show you the second video about how to making this. So yeah. What? I don't know. I will be back with the next video so that way you can see what it looks like. Bye.